okay so yesterday what we have done we have covered the basic uh, intro part and the prerequisites like what is required to deploy the entire lab right yes yes so as per the plan we will go step by step so means if you are okay i can directly go to this machine but if you have never configured the domain controller in that case we can do that step as well because that is a basic thing yeah you can do yes do you want me to configure a domain controller yeah yeah okay so this session will be done tomorrow then okay 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 because domain controller i didn't mention why because we are preparing for the citrix right so okay. when we are preparing for citrix so it is a general understanding like you know uh, like candidates should be familiar with the domain controller right but uh, if you are asking in this I topic think, how do computing is not mentioned is, is there which one cloud computing cloud connect cloud, com cloud computing it is a next step initially we are working on pre mic testing right uh -huh. no in this uh, topic index uh, no, that is a that is a different not. series. That is a different series. Okay. 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 It's not comes under this one. Okay. The deployment. Oh. Okay. okay. So to do the same, like how to configure the domain controller. So let me go to try to open this. In practical world, you will never find that product VMware workstation in any data center, right? You will find bare metal hypervisor only, right? Yeah. yeah. So here, so I have one template in VMware for server 2019. Okay. So okay. what I'm going to do, I'm simply copying this machine and quickly creating one new virtual machine. Otherwise, we have traditional way as well to boot from CD, DVD, ISO, and you know, press any key. Then we have to select the hard drive. But yes. that is very, very slow, right? So this is done now. So clone of server 2019. Let me rename this. So here I can mention the domain controller so quickly we can power on the machine okay and you will see we have created the virtual machine within a minute right yes Let me log into this machine. So, <clears throat> before configuring any domain controller, we have to check the two things. First one, that particular server, it should be on a static IP address, okay? So, okay. what we are going to do, we are going to give some static ip to this machine okay first okay. let me change the network settings here so this is a very very basic thing ip details you can easily get from your network team right you have to yeah. ask them like we need one static IP. Okay. So I know my network. So I have some IP with me 192.168.10. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Let's make it uh, 200. Subnet will be fine. My gateway is 192.168.10.2. And DNS server will be the same. So 
it is not required right now to enter the DNS detail. Click OK. Click OK. So we have configured the network here. Now, our second requirement is to change the host name of this machine, computer name, OK? So click on okay. computer name and click on change. Into the computer description, you can mention domain controller. And now you can click on change. And here in computer name, you can mention like uh, DC for domain controller hyphen zero one. That means domain controller zero one. One. Okay. okay. And it is in work group. Click OK. Click yes. And apply. It will ask to restart. So restart now. Okay. Perfect. Again, I'm logging in here. Now, we have to configure this as a domain controller, right? So to configure any server as a domain controller, the first thing is to add that role here. So to add, a role in server, click on manage here, add roles and features. Here, click on next. We are <coughs> installing the role. Next, this is our server detail, like yes. the host name and the IP address. Click on next. Now, here we have to select Active Directory and Domain Services. Okay, yeah, click on add feature and click on next. Nothing to select here. Next, next, and install. So it will install the Active Directory role here okay. in the server. So have you ever worked on the domain controller? Yeah, before I was working on when I was so hmm? six year back Wintel team at that time. Okay, means on that time you might be working on Windows Server 2008 or any older version, right? Yeah, 2003. Oh, three. Uh, MCIST, I done that course from Jet King okay. at that time I learned. Okay. After that, three years I worked. After that, I moved to Citrix. At that time, I didn't work. Okay. So please do perform that uh, activity. Uh, yeah. Why? Because it will help you to, you know, summarize the things actually. Yes. Because AD server is very, very critical for any organization. Yes. And AD servers means that like more than two or three servers should be there for every company. Yes. One is your uh, backup, uh, which is known as ADC, additional domain controller. Also, you can create read-only domain controller or two or three domain controller as per your requirement. Okay. Because if, in case your AD server bent down, multiple uh, services will affect it. Yeah. 
Why? Because okay. multiple service accounts are there, security groups are there, right? Close this pop up. So now we have installed the role. Now you can see that yellow flag here, right? So click on that yellow mark. Now you are getting one option to promote this server to a domain controller, right? So yes. click on this one. Click on add a new forest. Why? Because we are creating a new domain. Domain yes. name you can type like anything. xyz.com or even you can type your name, right? So click on next. Now it is asking for DSRM password. So what is that? It's for restoration purpose. Means in case your ActiveX server goes down or if there is any hardware fail failure, in that case you can restore the entire active IT users and computers with that file. Okay. And that file is password encrypted. So we are entering that password. Click on next. Click on next. Now it will show XYZ only at NetWise name. Right. It's xyz.com. Click on next. Now it will show you the path of for the Active Directory database. So you might know the default path yes. window is NTDS, NTDS, and SYS wall. Okay. So database yes. logs and all those by default will be there. But if you want to change, you can uh, browse for any other location, right? But we will go with the default. Okay. But default it will be said, right? The windows. Okay. Okay. Click on next. So here is a summary what we have selected, like our database path and all the options what we have selected, the domain name what we have given xyz.com, right? So click on next. It will check for some predictive sites. Perfect. Click on install. So, in some time, it will automatically log the UI, log log off, and it will configure it as a domain controller. Okay. And then we are good to open the Active Directory console and to create the user account or password or security group, whatever is required. So yes. on that time, when you was working for the Vintel team, on that time, what uh, kind of operations uh, are you managing at that time? That user creating application, sharing, mm -hmm. and um, in, uh, I was working with the Kotec Bank. In okay. uh, Bangalore, every branch we have set up them, adding to domain, mm -hmm. and uh, users need that um, application access now that we are providing <clears throat> so okay application access means on that time uh, you was managing the terminal servers right the terminal i say i'm a desktop support mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay it's so quick actually more than my expectation running <laughs> really fast okay yeah <laughs> Have you ever worked on the group policies? No.
in my area actually there is a heavy raining actually i'm running on my laptop even on battery no electricity here so still, uh, raining is there now yeah since last three days okay no here it's only cloudy today no rain coming in bangalore mm -hmm. three days back it was raining here okay I wasted my time simply just working on a ticketing that that I don't know how to upgrade myself and nobody has helped me to move to next level. Mm -hmm. You are running too late. Yes. Now last year I fell down by bike and my hand fractured, uh, left hand. Mm -hmm. So that's why I took rest now. So now I recovered. Mm -hmm. so I need to uh, refresh my everything. I need to change my job first. Mm -hmm. If you stay more than five, six years in the same company, so they are not um, increasing salary, nothing. They are asking you, you need to mm -hmm. do something extra, extra what you are doing. Only two members we are working here. Uh -huh. Me and Sami is there. Mm -hmm. He will do his part, he will not show anything. Just I'm working on ticketing, what are the daily activities. Okay, means whatever the activities he's performing, he's not showing you, like what he's doing actually at Infra level. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's also not doing, he's um, some in Canada sector, the Client side, the no? Citrix team is there. He, they are doing. He is directly contacting them. He is taking information there. He is mm -hmm. not sharing with me. Okay, means he is just coordinating. Yes, yes. With consent team, right? Yeah. So you are working permanently from home, or it's a kind of hybrid model? No, I'm, we are working from home only. Yeah. Okay. Some people are going office, some, but we are in the evening shift now, only cab they are not providing now, day shift, only night they are providing, instead why they, we are working from home. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, the thing is that now for night shift guys, they have to spend a lot, right? Their food, yes. their conveyance, their meals, right? Meals and they are not providing in IBM. Uh, means if you are working in night shift from office, so they are not providing meals? No, no. Okay. And what about taxi and other transportation? Uh, cab they are providing only night shift. Night Before they are providing both. Okay. Evening, day and the night. Now and, they are... Um, okay. So night evening. allowance should be there, na, if they are not providing the... Uh, uh, allowance night. is there. Yeah. Night allowance should be there, right? Have you worked in Bangalore? No, no, I visited Bangalore two years back actually to set up a new data center for my clients only. Like okay. uh, <laughs> some IT park is there. I forgot the name actually. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, multiple like uh, uh, like uh, SCL campus was there, Infosys campus was there. And yes. uh, I forgot the area or name actually. It's two years back. Actually. Infosys is in uh, Electron City. Here in Bangalore. Yes, so might be I went to that and area. Manyatha Tech Park is there. Yes. IT Park and Whitefield.
okay so we have done with our domain controller so let's log in so you can see now it is showing xyz slash administrator means xyz yes. is my domain and administrator it is my user right yes so <laughs> let me log in with administrator first and it is a not it is not a good uh, practice to you know use the default administrator uh, user account right so yeah. what we will do at first go to the tools open active directory users and computers mm -hmm. what i open okay go to your tools open active directory users and computers Expand the domain, go to the users, copy the administrator, create some user, give the user logon name, click on next. And finish it. And we are good to disable the default admin account, right? Disable it. So this account is disabled now. Okay. And I've created a replica of that user account with all the permissions. So if so, any configuration we need to change means we need to log in with the administrator, right? Yes. Okay. Now I'm logging with administrator account, which I have created right now. Okay, so again, you can go to the tools, active back to users and computers. And here you can create the OU. OU means organizational unit. Yes. Like uh, <clears throat> you can create one like uh, office users, right? And we can create another one, like if someone is working uh, from home. So in that case, we can create RDP user or remote users, right? Okay. And if you are having multiple machines, right? So you can create OU like uh, for virtual machine, you can create uh, VM hyphen desktop means this is for Windows 10 and Windows 11 only okay kind of naming conventions and okay. if you are having group of servers so, and all servers are virtual machines so you can create one more like vm hyphen servers right so you can move or you can apply the group policies accordingly on ous right why because whenever okay. we have to apply the group policy we have to apply it over the ou only right yes so this is how it works so now for an example like uh, we can create one office user, right? Let's create one user. Test user 01. <coughs> and username will be test 01. And enter some password. I think that stuff you already might be performed, right? How to create the user accounts, right? Yeah. So we have created one office uh, user. Now create one RDP user. New user. Name it like uh, test user 02. 
test 02 now enter some password perfect so we have got two users now <coughs> now if you can see like uh, i have created two users like and these users are with the standard uh, permissions only right if you go to the member of these are the domain users only right so okay let's try to switch user now sign out from this if i go to other user and if i type test 01 enter the password so we are getting this error can you explain why yeah. Because this user this user is a standard user and that user account is not allowed to log into the domain controller okay okay means in any virtual machine that user can log in right but that yes, user yes. is not allowed to log into the servers why because no. we have not given him the permissions yes right but uh, same error you will get with uh, test 0 to as well look the sign in method you are, you are trying to not allow so for the same we can configure the like uh, multiple group policies or we can create the security groups right so and we can add the users to the respective security groups yes. simply let me log in with uh, this account only so this is the only thing like you know what we can uh, do into the domain controller Yes. And now here is the Active Directory server. I think Active Directory operations you already know, right? I don't think so. I have anything to explain here, right? No, no, nothing. Yeah, only configuration was the issue. So we already configured the domain control, right? Okay. Any doubt here in this part? Like domain control? No. No. Okay. okay so let me show you one more thing how to apply the group policy so you can see like uh, in this local server the windows firewall is on right private firewall is on right and i want to uh, you know uh, disable the domain firewall by group policy in all the computers which are connected to, to uh, in my network right so okay in your personal laptop not personal in your office laptop you might have seen uh, like when you open the firewall now you might have seen like uh, uh, firewall is managed by the organization right yes, yes so how to do that so they simply disable the firewall with the group policy right so let me try to do it so tools go to the group policy management expand this maximize this domain xyz.com and group policy object so what we are i am doing i am creating two group policies here first one is okay. disable firewall okay. and second basic policy what i am creating is for the wallpaper because in every organization you are getting different wallpapers right yes so these are the two basic policies i'm creating so first we are editing that disable firewall policy click on edit i already know the path but if you don't know you will remember if you practice a lot right so go to the computer configuration go to the policies expand the administrative template go to the network and here in network you will find network connections here windows defender firewall for domain profile the third option protect all network connection double click on it disable it apply okay and same you have to do with the standard profile as well the third option protect okay. all network connection disable it apply it okay so we have done with the 
fireball pollution. Right? And second wall, the second is for the wallpaper, right? So as yeah. you can see, right now there is a default wallpaper. Is, here it is showing, right? That Windows Server one. But I yeah. want to change the wallpaper. So to deploy the new wallpaper to all the users, so what you can do, first uh, create one folder in your domain controller or any network path, right? Name it okay. something like that data or whatever the name you want to give. Simply go to the properties, sharing, advanced sharing, and share this folder. Apply. Okay. Now you need some wallpaper, right? So yes. I'm having one wallpaper here in my computer. So images uh, where is my wallpaper so this is my wallpaper right so i'm copying this wallpaper and i'm pasting it over here in my server shared folder hello can you hear me yes okay so now what we have to do to configure this policy, again, go to the wallpaper policy, click on edit. Now, that policy applies for users only, okay? So, go to the policies, administrative templates, okay. desktop, into a desktop, you will find one option, desktop wallpaper, right? Double click on it. Now, enable okay. that policy. And you have to give the wallpaper path, right? So in our case, the path will be okay. where we have shared the folder, right? DC slash. Mm. In data. Okay, DC slash data. Data right. folder. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Something wrong. And wallpaper. No, no, no. It should be visible by this only, no? Okay, but... DC zero one man, not DC. Uh, this is your own data and wallpaper. Right. So this is 01 slash wallpaper dot jpg. Let's copy this and paste it over here. Here it is. And I want to stash this. Apply. Okay. So we have done with the two group policies. Now simply we have to deploy these policies, right? So what you can do. Firewall policy, you can deploy on the entire domain. So you can link an existing GPU, select the disable firewall. So now we have mapped the disable firewall policy to all the computers. And wallpaper policy, you can also deploy for all the desktop and computers. So again, link an existing GPU, wallpaper, okay. So now we have deployed this to the default domain only, but you can select, it means if you want to deploy this on this uh, OU, right click and you can select any, right? So <laughs> now simply open the CMD and run one command that is GP update slash force. Perfect. The policy is applied. Let's see. Simply click on sign out. <coughs> so right now we are uh, working on domain controller, but same changes will be reflected on all the machines which are connected to the network. Yes. So now you can see the wallpaper. Right? Yeah. Well, we have changed. not changed any, uh, we have not uh, <coughs> selected any uh, wallpaper manually, right? If yes, I go yes. to the local server. It's automatically applied. Yeah. If you go to the local server, you can see firewall is off now. Yeah. Right? Okay, buddy. So I think uh, this is done for today. Are you available after? Uh, uh, what is your shift timings? Uh, 5, 5 to 2 30 evening. Mm, okay. So if you are okay, can we connect after uh, the lunch, like somewhere around 1 30 for next? Yeah, session? yeah. Yes, I will sir. ping you. I will ping you, okay? Because okay. lots of practicals will be there, okay? So, okay, okay. that is the only thing. Just message me at what time.
Sure, sure. I will let you know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you.